All right, guys, it's go time. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's just me, Erica, today because I'm reviewing a product and I'm reviewing a portion of my wash routine, which is the blow dry routine. And I'm actually blow drying my hair without a blow dryer because today I am reviewing the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Brush. And a lot of you all have requested that we review this, so I did buy it and I'm really excited to use it because y'all, I don't know if y'all know our struggles with both me and Ebony, our struggles with the blow dryer. We're just uncoordinated with the blow dryer. So when I found out they made something like this, where it has like the bristles attached to it, it's kind of like a blow dryer with a brush type of hybrid type of thing. I was like really excited because you know, this could actually work. This could actually be something for me because I'm very, very, very uncoordinated with the blow dryer. I just, I don't know, I'm just, it just doesn't work well with me, my hair and everything. So yeah, but yeah, I heard a lot of great reviews about this blow dryer brush. Uh, hopefully it works well on my hair. I do have relaxed hair. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll work very, very well. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the um, intro stuff. I do wanna let you guys know how this works. Um, but before I get into the whole routine, which by the way, I will do this on freshly washed hair. This is not the results of it, by the way. I'm gonna actually have, this is just the intro right now. I'm actually gonna do a first impressions and just gonna wash my hair and then I'm just gonna show you guys how this works. I've not used this yet, so this will be like a, a true first impressions video. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys or tell you guys a little bit about the brush real quick. All right, so just a little bit about this hair dryer brush. It does have ionic technology, which reduces frizz and enhances shine, according to what it says on the box. Um, it also helps with drying and smoothing the hair quickly. The bristles also help with detangling. It helps dry, smooth, and style hair in half the time, which, yes, I need that. And it's very lightweight. And yeah, this thing is lightweight. Um, I'm holding it now, and it feels like, I don't know, all my other blow dryers that I've had have been heavier than this, so I know it kind of looks bulky, but it's not really that bulky. And it also feels sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's cheaply made, so it feels like it, it could get through super curly hair, so if you do have super curly hair, um, this feels like it would get through that. So again, enough with all the rambling, let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so I've washed my hair, and I've also detangled it, and I've put it into four sections, as you can see, one, two, three, four. And uh, yeah, so now we're just going to see how this bad boy works. So yeah, um, I have this mirror right here. So if I'm kind of looking this way, it's because I have a big mirror. It's kind of hard for me to do my hair in the little small viewfinder. But before we do that, I am going to quickly spray my hair with the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. And the Glam Twins, they rave about this product for like years. So I decided to give it a try. It's supposed to reduce blow dry time by up to 50%. And it's also a heat protector, which I love. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna spray this on my hair. Spray on damp hair. I'm just gonna spray it on this section here. But guys, it's go time. Let's see. I'm gonna put it on high, which is obviously the heat setting, the highest heat setting, I think. It goes from, obviously you saw in the previous clip, but it goes from cool to low to high. I'm just gonna put it on high. thing is a little bit loud. It sounds like a blow dryer. It's loud like a blow dryer. So it just doesn't look like a blow dryer. <laughs> I just have to cut this off and say I already love this. It feels like a regular blow dryer. Like it, it goes through my hair, it doesn't tangle at all. My hair is already tangled, so that helps a lot. But this just glides right through my hair. I love it. I already love it. All right, so I'm gonna finish. blow drying this side as you can see um, it's not bone straight but yeah I really like this blow dryer um, definitely gets the job done now I'm just gonna move on to this side yeah I'll just give a review after I finish this side but I am done with this side and it feels it feels pretty good um, like I said it's not bone straight um, but obviously a blow dryer is not gonna get your hair super straight it's a flat iron's job but um, yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with the results especially from this little little hybrid brush blow dryer thing so yeah, let's head on up to this side. All right, so I'm about to head to this side. Just put this side up until we'll... All 
I'm about to start on this side. Just put this side into a little uh, pigtail here and to, just to get it out of the way so it won't be get caught up with this side. I had to re-wet this side a little bit with this uh, spray bottle because this side kind of dried already. So um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to re-wet it. So it's already detangled, tingle like I said. So I'm just going to get started on this. This time on this side, I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to start with smaller sections than I did this side. I feel like the blow dryer might be a little bit more effective if I put in, put my hair in smaller sections. Um, it might blow dry quicker, I don't know. But, uh, cause this side took, it took about, let me see, 20 minutes? Yeah, it took about 20 minutes, just this side alone. So, um, and that also could be me, you know, now I haven't blow dried my hair in like forever. Again, I'm uncoordinated, but this really does help with my coordination. So, um, yeah, so that could be it too, because I'm not used to blow drying my hair. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna try smaller sections on this side and yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I'm gonna start with this small section here. guys I'm like almost done with this side I don't know what it is I don't know if it was smaller sections um I don't know because I started to get big sections towards the end but this side took half as much time to blow dry as the other side like I honestly this literally took me all of what 10 minutes and while the other side like took me well actually no I would say about 15 the other side took me almost 30 like I'm almost done and this side I don't know it just felt like it felt like it feels like I'm brushing my hair literally um, I don't know if it's the spray. It might be the spray because I don't know. Maybe I should just let the spray sit before I start um, blow drying my hair. Maybe that's why it worked. I don't know what it is, but, but yeah, this side is almost done. It's almost completely dry. Um, yeah, all I have to do is this section right here and it looks straight already. I could probably just leave it like this. I can run my fingers through it. Um, I just feel a little bit more damp parts towards the roots. So I'm just going to get more of the roots and then I'll be done. But yeah, this side definitely was quicker than this side. It might be because, again, I have more control on this side. I was, this is kind of like the tester side, so um, I was kind of more sure about myself on this side, so I don't know. But I am loving this Revlon blow dryer brush. Like, it is really, really, really amazing. All right, y'all, your girl is done blow drying her hair. I, again, I can't rave enough about this thing. This thing, I would give it, I would say I'll give it a four out of five stars. And the reason I deducted a star was because this part up here, you can see it, this, like when I hold it, like from here to here and all around here, gets really hot. Now it's not scalding hot to the point where you'll, you'll burn your hands, but if you hold it longer than like five or six seconds, it's kind of uncomfortable. So that's why you see me kind of scooch my hand down a little bit um, while I was blow drying. I don't know if y'all caught that. I used I was always pulling my hand down because usually because your hand gradually kind of you know naturally goes up while you're blow drying and stuff just to get better control. But again, this part is hot, so you kind of have to you know maneuver it while your hand is down here, which is not a big deal. Obviously, it just feels like the regular brush. Um, I guess that's how you hold a regular brush anyway, so maybe I'm doing it wrong. But I don't know, I feel like my hands kind of made its way up to the top a lot. And this part gets really, really hot and it's off and it's still a little hot. And I did have the setting on high, um, high heat, so that could be why. But that's the only reason why I'm deducting the star. Maybe like if they make another one, they can, I don't know, put some sort of, I don't know, some cover or heat protecting cover, I don't know. Maybe they can make changes to that. But that's the only reason why I deducted the star was because of this part right here. Other than that, I love how it felt. Like I said, it glides through here like a regular brush. Um, obviously my hair is not bone straight, but um, that's what a flat iron is for, like I said before. Speaking of flat iron, I am doing a part two of this video. I will be um, flat ironing my hair without a flat iron. So um, <laughs> yeah, so if y'all wanna see that, subscribe below. Just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and you'll get a notification for that. I'm actually doing it right after I filmed this. So um, that video should be going up, not after this one, but maybe like a couple videos after this one. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I will highly suggest you guys get this if you're thinking about it. 
believe me, like this is worth the money. It was only like $39.99, which is honestly not bad for this thing. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you're uncoordinated with the blow dryer, if you hate blow dryers, uh, this, this one's really good. And again, it's lightweight. So while I was blow drying my hair and everything, my arm would not get tired, didn't get tired at all. So um, yeah, that's another plus. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Let me know if y'all have tried this, this Revlon one-step blow dryer brush. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys like it. Again, I read reviews and they were really good, so I had a feeling that I would, I would definitely like it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and again, stay tuned for how I straighten my hair video. Um, we can see if I can get it bone straight like Lisa. Um, yeah, that's a challenge because Lisa gets her hair really, really straight. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.